want to move to some local coverage now at 5. The investigation continues tonight into a reported attempted kidnapping in Cranston. It was first developing last night live at 5. And tonight we're hearing from police who stepped up patrols after the 12-year-old claimed someone chased him yesterday. Highway to Sue's reporter Susan Campbell joins us now live in Cranston with the latest developments. Police tell me they haven't been able to track down the man involved in this incident, but they say they're still looking. There are more Cranston police officers patrolling this neighborhood than usual. We're checking the bus stops, checking around elementary schools and middle schools, making sure the kids are okay going to the bus stop, walking to school and whatnot. An attempted kidnapping prompted the increased patrols. Cranston's a pretty safe community, especially this area, uh, the aqueduct area. So uh, we were kind of surprised that an incident like that would take place around here. A 12-year-old boy told police he was walking near the corner of Aqueduct and Bridgeton Roads when a man drove up in an older model red car and asked the boy if he needed a ride. When the boy said no, the man started chasing him. The boy got away. Now police are on the lookout for an older white man with gray hair and a gray mustache who is wearing a blue pullover with an orange zipper, a red baseball hat, and sunglasses. Meanwhile, school officials are encouraging parents to talk with their children about strangers. Certainly we don't want to scare them and make them afraid of walking to school or being in school or being in any public area, but they also need to have the tools to be able to react appropriately and get themselves to safety. As an extra measure of safety, police say if your kids walk to school, they should walk in pairs or groups. Live in Cranston with the West Bay Mobile Newsroom, Susan Campbell, Eyewitness News.